Yoski. Uh, we have here Project 68 bench steel plates from uh, November of 2023. And yes, it's plates, it's plural because I've made exactly two exact copies of what you see here. And uh, yeah, I guess it might be silly to some of you to have a project that's just a plate, but I still very much consider uh, this a project. And I think the first uh, prudent uh, question you may be asking yourself is uh, why? Why even? So in this case, the reason is uh, twofold. First and foremost, I guess this is sort of a tradition, but I have always been using like additional boards just to protect the surface of uh, my bench. And uh, the usual thing was this sort of a cork board. This is the bottom side. And then on the top side, you would have various designs. Now these things are cheap and being cheap, they do not last very long, which you can see this one is, uh, yeah, I'm not very good shape. And this is already like a third one in, I guess, six or five years. So again, you know. So the first thing was just continuing with what I had, but uh, much better material. Now, the second thing uh, is that, well, it is metal. So, you know, I can actually put my like, model making vice and actually smash stuff like with force. And, you know, I don't think this sort of a fiber board, you know, alone will sur would survive that. So that's the thing that you do not get with the cork stuff. And the uh, second thing which is uh, not visible, uh, so then easy to overlook, is that this is ferromagnetic, which means that magnets stick to it, as you can see. So this is a nice additional feature, which will be very important uh, for the second project I will be trying to film today, the mag base lock line stuff. In any case, just to like uh, tell you what it is. Again, I featured that in the mag plate uh, video, the foreign one from some time ago. It's S235, a low carbon hot rolled uh, uh, steel. It is not stainless, it's just industrial steel. And yeah, the most of the work in the project is actually dealing with the fact that this is industrial stuff. You get it in very nasty chemicals for corrosion prevention. And even though it's still gonna be corroded like surface rust, so we need to get rid of that. Um, the edges, uh, plasma cut, uh, very rough, again, need to work. And um, for this application, again, it's not stainless, so varnish, uh, acrylic varnish, three coats from both sides. Then the edges, which you don't really see here, painted with red paint, you know, just to make it nicer. And uh, finally, for this application, these two very small holes uh, for those uh, smallest uh, metric uh, bolts these are m2 and this is especially fun because you know the diameter of the threaded part is two millimeter but the bolt head i wanted this to be smooth so i, I hand drilled you know no drill press here no machines the two millimeters hole for the shaft part and then enlarged the hole with two and a half millimeters i believe very very delicately just enough so there's still material for the head to grab on but the head itself is below the surface so that was fun and again two plates so four holes and yeah that means exactly that this plate is bolted onto the main board of the bench it's not gonna be moving anywhere it's really really sturdy so yeah and uh, you know, with this being in constant use, again, I don't do art pieces, I do stuff that's meant to be useful, nice, but also live with people around it. So I'm thinking that this varnish, it's not industrial strength or anything like that, it's more like art stuff varnish, so I'm assuming it will wear out in a couple of years, and this being non-stainless, it will probably get some surface rust, so I'm actually kind of uh, interested in actually happy that this wall gets a sort of a patina and you know if i don't like it i can always get my sander back and redo it which i think this will last a very long time so yeah i hope you found that interesting even though it is just a plate you know 25 centimeters by 25 centimeters by two millimeters of thickness yeah it's it's really useful all right Thanks for watching, bye!